And so first they're showing source, okay? And then a little speck of light comes from source. And it's kind of like an energy that starts to explore into this vast space. And as it starts to explore, it starts to pick up energies of other things that are already existing, okay? Because it is, now that it has been sent off from source, it has a vibration to it. And since it has a vibration, everything else has a vibration that kind of gives it a, a little bit of an identity, okay? Even though it is still a part of source, because it took off from source, it now has its own little separate entity-ness, okay? And because of that, while it's out there exploring as this kind of little, this little light, this little seed, it feels the vibration of all these other little entities and it starts exploring, okay? And it picks up on the different vibrations and as it does, it starts to learn of, ooh, this is... This is harmonious. This doesn't feel so harmonious. This is harmonious. This doesn't feel so harmonious. Oh, what's this here? And so it's, it just begins this exploration, okay? And so the longer that it does these explorations, of course, the more it would learn. And so it doesn't wish to so much repeat things unless it thoroughly enjoyed that area or if it felt um, like things were not at rest or not fully understood, it will, it will go back to these other areas. And what they're saying, though, is that the way that this works is it's all by resonance, okay? It's not so much a thinking as it is like in a third dimensional body. It is a resonance of, oh, you know, I feel complete with that experience. Oh, wait, I don't feel complete um, there's an incomplete feeling or connection, they're saying the word is connection, with this vibration of existence. And so it will move towards that to complete that for its exploratory purpose and identity as this little soul part. Um, They're saying you're not asking the question that you really want to ask is, well, what happens after that? What happens after right? that? Right. <laughs> because you're looking at and going, well, once you've done all of that, what happens then? Once okay. I move from a star seed to, to somebody's womb, as an example. Oh, no. So all of these are, that is included in this. Okay. Okay, you're incarnating and going in. All they're right. just showing everything at a soul experience level. They've taken off the 3D covering, okay? Um, and so what they're saying is that when is it time to go back to source? When does, that's the kind of the biggest question, right? Of, okay, here's the soul out here exploring. When does it come to a, quote, completion, right? Or a sense of, I've picked up everything that I need to pick up or understand, and now it's time to go back to, um... Do I go back to source, or do go, I become incarnate in a body and... Well, okay, so what... <laughs> included in... You've already incarnated, is what they're saying. Like, and when you're exploring all these different vibratory things, Earth is one of those, okay? But okay. then there's all these other star systems and, like, places to go mm -hmm. and experiences mm -hmm. to have, including um, being a star or, you know, all of these different, um, quote, embodiments, okay? And what they're saying is that, yeah, after you've done all of these and you've materialized on multiple densities or dimensions, at what point do you go back? And they're saying this is, and there's two things. This is written in the soul identity of that little individual soul, right? It comes to a point that because Source has given it a more or less identity of its own, which is what free will is, right? Um, and so you can follow kind of that 
divine guidance of, oh, where is, where am I really supposed to go? And then there's the, I want to kind of go over here or there. And so because of that, they're saying what happens is, is that it almost becomes like a vibration of curiosity to, well, what about going back to source? I have done all this. The awareness of the soul gets to the point where it says, oh, I've seen that, and I've seen that, and I've seen that. And so it's kind of like a child going to an adult. As a child, you want to go and you want to play and explore, and the world seems so magnificent. And then as you get older, things that were interesting when you were younger are just not interesting anymore. And so you start looking for things that are truly fulfilling or completing that, they're, they're calling it completing that vibratory cycle for that soul's existence, okay? Um, and that is what makes everybody um, like an independent soul because that vibratory uh, experience is different for every unique. soul. Yes, unique. It's different for every soul. Um, but what they're saying is when a soul wakes up to the part of Oh, well, I could go back to source. What do I want to do with that? Or where else do I want to explore? And so then things start to change, okay? And when that happens, the other souls around it also start to change. So remember, everything is in vibration. So as this vibration, um, it's like it turns on. So they're showing as one soul is in a white light and then one is in a golden light, okay? And the golden light is the one that's, oh, I'm, I'm aware of source and going back to source. What, what do we do about that? And then the other souls around it pick up on that vibration. And so then it becomes a new collective unconsciousness, a collective consciousness is what they're saying. And so then it becomes a group question of, well, how do we want to handle this? Do we want to go back to source or start creating as source creates? And so it becomes a new level of mm, awareness, okay? And so it opens you up to almost a more God-like or God type of state where you become aware that you are not just the explorer, you are the creator, okay? And they're saying, this is where your soul is at, and this is where many souls are heading and are at now, okay? And that's why more becoming aware of it, because it's becoming like, a, they're showing it's like a web, you know, and it just starts going everywhere. And so it's becoming, well, what are we going to do now? Um, and so it, it is. So this is the free will of, well, I can become a co-creative soul being, or I could go back to source, or I could help others. And so there's a lot of different options, they're saying, once you get to that awareness beyond just exploring. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the next step. Because a soul doesn't, it doesn't end. Does that make sense? Even if it returns to source, it doesn't end. It's just joining a different mm -hmm. um, set awareness another, and set consciousness. Set another way when you die, your soul returns to some environment. Whatever that environment is, it's got to be a new learning environment. Right. So what they're saying is even when a soul dies, or when a person the dies, dies, when the body right. dies, the soul doesn't just go back to source it gets freed of that vibration. Okay. Okay. So what we're talking about is people aren't just, people are no longer going to just die from the body and go back to exploring. Everything is raising to, oh, well, I could die and I could co-create. Oh, wait. Because I'm aware in this body now, I can co-create while I'm still in this body. So all of this is... 
they're saying it's it's kind of like a new idea. It's a new experiment for creation itself. Because creation is, you know, God's not like a person saying we're going to do this. Creation is, um, it's alive. And it's constantly growing. And so it in and of itself is waking up through the little soul parts that have been exploring. They did their job. They explored. And I was like, ooh, wow, we just explored up to a new level. Okay? And so then that starts. So it's not so much, it's not just exploring here. It's exploring up. So it's a different um, view of what that. If I can say that be. another way, I, I'm of the impression that like God is vibrating at the three thousand. Right. <laughs> you want dimensions and densities? Yeah. Dimension of density and and when we. They're die, saying um, sources at an endless level of densities. Okay. So, okay, so that when we die, we, our bodies die. They, they go back to the earth mm -hmm. or wherever they go. Mm -hmm. And you become this higher dimensional vibration type of person. So like, she just had an incident where her soulmate's mother just died. And I'm trying to say in my own head, she's still there. She's just vibrating at a different frequency mm -hmm. where you can't see her. Right. Right. Okay. But what they're saying is we're just going to set aside the idea of the bodies. Right. So even in the soul area, there are some souls that are in white light and they are purely just exploring. And then there's some souls that are in a golden light and they're not just exploring, they're also creating. I gather that. And at what point then do those souls or a soul go into a human baby and begin a life to start a new soul to a soul experience I guess is what you would call it when it chooses so that's when what the soul chooses right does it choose the body and the person and the circumstances it's a co-creative creation um, where the soul, like we said, was exploring all these different vibrations mm -hmm. to experience. Mm -hmm. And so it says, I would like, or I need to fulfill this lack of having this experience. They don't want to say lack. It's more of like an excited curiosity mm -hmm. of, ooh, let's try I, this. I, I, and I, upon I, that, upon the soul having that vibration, that's when the body comes into form. Of, well, I would like to have a, the third dimensional experience of like this, because I haven't had that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I in the sense, but you know, the soul But it's not a matter of the ascended masters or someone in the, in the realm saying, you need to go back and have this experience in okay. order to move into the next soul. Okay, so you're going... Okay, so what they're saying is, is that... Th they're saying this is the important part that you're kind of skipping, is that there's a soul that's choosing to explore, right. okay? And then soul gets to a point where it, it wakes up to a different... Oh, I, don't, I can also create, not just explore, Okay, mm -hmm. and that's where things shift. All right, um, you want to ask about like ascended masters and those. Okay, so those beings have already gone into these other densities of creating and um, even beyond. I mean, they're or showing they're, so they're right. showing these different colors. There's like a white light soul, and then there's golden, and then there's violet, and pink, and reds, right. and blues. And, and so there's all these different um, densities or resonances is what they're saying. And these are dependent on your exploration. So what they're saying, the important part is, let's say right now, because you're having this discussion, you're already at a level of being one of those golden souls. You're, you're aware of things beyond being beyond just exploration, right? Okay. So... So what happens then is, well, you can still explore and you can still create. So if you take someone like an ascended master like Christ, okay, well, ascended master Christ can do all of the dimensions. It's not like you can't go to the other densities or dimensions sure. or vibrations that you already went through. 
you've mastered them is what they're saying. You've experienced that vibration, thus you can move into it. And that's what all of these are, is experiencing um, different vibrations.